I am Monia from Geosoft and in this video I will show you the type of data you can use to create a voxy model. Here I have already created a voxy from a polygon and now I am going to add the data to run my voxy version. The Add Data dialog box that you can access by right clicking on Data option allows you to select the data that will be used to run your inversion. You can use two input options, a Geosoft database or a Geosoft grid file. If you are going to use a Geosoft database, it must contain the following channels, east and north coordinates, sensor elevation channel or the elevation above terrain, and gravity or magnetic channel, depending what type of inversion you want to run. If you do not have the elevation information, you can create a new channel and use a constant of the approximate flight elevation or, if it's a ground survey, you can use the topography information. If this information is in a grid format, you can sample the grid to a database using grid and image menu, which will just sample a grid option. Make sure you have set the projection information to the database. If your dataset is not in a Geosoft format, you need to import the data into a new database first. To do this, go to Database menu and select New Database. Once you create it, go to the Database menu import option to import your data. You can import many file formats such as CSV file and Excel spreadsheet. This way you will have a Geosoft database format. Back to our Voxy project, choosing a database as data source, you can select the database file and automatically the X and Y channels will be populated. Select the sensor elevation channel, which is the elevation of the sensor or elevation above terrain, where the vertical position provided is the elevation above terrain and it's given by the radar altimeter channel. If you choose a grid as an input data, you need the gravity or magnetic grid. In this case, you can grid your data from the Geosoft database using any of the gridding methods Oasis Montage has available under Grid and Image menu, Gridding option. One option is the minimum curvature gridding. Select the data you want to grid, set the parameters if necessary, and then you will have a Geosoft grid format. Back to our Voxy project, as soon as you select the grid option, you can choose your data grid and set the sensor elevation option to a constant elevation, constant above terrain, or an elevation grid. In this example, you use an elevation grid. And in this case, you need to select a grid file. The important thing is that either if you select a database or a grid file to use as input data, it must be in the same coordinate system as the polygon or voxel you use it to create your voxel model. In this video, you could see what format types your data needs to be to create a voxel model. Thanks for watching and access our webpage www.geosoft.com for more voxel videos.